welcome back to Clarinet Lesson 2. My name is Brendan, a coach with the Michael J. Owen Music Education Fund. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of review before we get into the next lesson on how to make a sound on the clarinet. So, short review. First, remember, we've got the reed is the most important part of how we make a sound on the clarinet. So when you, as soon as you open your case, I've got a latch case this time, make sure that it's flat on wherever you're setting it is a flat surface so it won't fall. And when I open up the latches, they open upwards, opening up the case. I pull out the reed first, pull that out, start to... Salivate. I don't remember that I put the thin part of my mouth, not the thick part. The thick part is where you hold it so that you keep it safe from getting chipped or cracked. So I'm sucking on the reed. While I'm doing that, we're just going to go over how you put the instrument together again. So the bell is the bottom part. The next part, the bottom half of the instrument, has the racing stripes going to the side of it. So you put that on second. Then you got the top half with the cells, the cell keys on there, and you're going to Put that one on next and be careful to not jam the metal parts together. So when you're lining that up, remember you look to these rods, these two rods you want to line up and that's how you know that it's correctly lined up. You notice also too how the holes where you put your fingers are all pretty much in a straight line more or less. It doesn't have to be perfect, but they want to be basically straight up and down. Next part is the barrel. You're going to put the barrel on there and the mouthpiece, putting the mouthpiece on the top there. We're just going to quickly go over how you put the reed on the mouthpiece again because that's going to be very important for playing a, a good sound in the instrument. Loosen up the screws and slide it up using the back part of your finger just like that. So I'm sliding it up just a little bit. Now I'm taking the reed out of my mouth. It's good and soaked and wet. You're going to slide it right on there. Then loosening the screws so that it can go down underneath that line. And now you have to kind of shimmy it down a little bit to line up with the top edge of the mouthpiece. There should just be a thin line of black between the, the edge of the reed and the end of the mouthpiece. Now you tighten up your screws. Okay, that's our review for today. Now, the first thing we're going to do, actually, I know we just put the whole clarinet together and we're about ready to play, but we actually have to first only work with the mouthpiece and the barrel, the top two parts. So look again to see, I'm not taking it off from down here or down here. I'm only taking off the top two pieces. Now the rest of the clarinet we will definitely get to, but for now we have to focus on making a sound. So you're gonna set that part of your clarinet down in your case like so. Just make sure that it isn't about to fall down. It's on a stable surface where it can rest. Now we're just gonna focus here on how we make a sound. All right, so there's a few steps to remember the position of your mouth on the mouthpiece. So the first step is top teeth on the top of the piece. You hear that clacking sound? That's my front teeth touching the mouthpiece about halfway down the reed or so. But remember, you're touching the top slanted part with your top teeth. You're not gnashing down on it. You're not trying to bite the mouthpiece in half. Just very lightly. Everything with the clarinet is gentle. You're resting your teeth on the top there. Now, your bottom teeth, your actually your bottom lip is gonna curl over your bottom teeth just a little bit. It doesn't have to be super intense. You're just making a little kind of flat grandma lips on your bottom lip, covering your bottom teeth. And the reason you're doing that is because your bottom lip is gonna rest in between the reed and your teeth. So you create some pressure there. So top teeth on the top of the piece, bottom lip covering bottom teeth about halfway down the reed. So like right about there. Now, the third step that's really crucial to making sound is you have to tighten your lips, not just from the top and bottom, but all the way around. So you should feel a little bit of strain on these sides of your mouth or the corners of your mouth. It's a muscle group that we don't really get to use very often with other skills, but with playing clarinet and other wind instruments, you have to use these muscles quite a bit. So we're gonna have a firm pressure on all sides of our mouth, kind of like you're tightening a drawstring bag. So if you imagine your lips are the opening of the bag, your muscles are the string that tightens it up. So top teeth, number one, top teeth on the top of the piece, bottom lip curls over bottom teeth, touches halfway down the reed, then tighten up and you're just gonna blow pretty softly, like you're blowing on a spoonful of hot soup or if you're blowing on a fire to make it get bigger, you know, you don't, you're not huffing and puffing to blow it out. You're blowing very gently to increase the fire to make it bigger. So here's what it should sound like. Now, another thing 
Breathing is super important, of course, like with anything. So when you breathe, you should have a big tummy, big tight tummy, but try to relax everything above your tummy. So like shoulders should be down and relaxed. You shouldn't feel like a tightness in your neck or anything. So try to have just a big belly. But when you're breathing out, again, you're not pushing all your air out. You're not, oh, you're not singing either. You're not going hey, or anything. You're just A very soft blowing of the air. So we're gonna try it a couple more times. So top teeth on the piece, bottom lip curls over, tighten up, and one more time. Now you're gonna to wanna to try to hold it for about four seconds would be good if you can keep it steady for that long. But if you can't hold it that long, that's okay. We just gotta keep working on getting a lot of breath in our tummy. Now, some other things can happen, other sounds can be made. If you are biting too hard on the reed or too hard on other parts of the mouthpiece, it's gonna make a really unpleasant shrieky high sound. And unfortunately, that's just what happens with the clarinet if you're not blowing in the right way. And it might be frustrating and I want to encourage you to keep trying even if you're getting a lot of shrieks and it's not sounding very good. Keep practicing it. Sometimes it takes people several days or even weeks to learn how to create a good sound on the clarinet, but it's about finding that exact amount of pressure. So if it's too tight, you're gonna get that <coughs> shrieky whiny sound, but also, if it's too loose, if you're not tightening your lips around, it doesn't do anything. You just kind of hear air. So you got to have somewhere in the middle, like Goldilocks, right? Just not too tight, but still tight enough. So just right. So again, the sound should be like this. And it might not be the exact same pitch as mine. The word pitch has to do with how high or how low you're singing or making noise. So on the clarinet, you can actually change the pitch quite a bit using your throat. Again, we're not singing into the instrument, but it's about changing the direction of your air. So Now, if you can get that much of a difference in your pitch, you are probably a naturally gifted, amazing clarinet player. Most people can't get that much variance in the pitch. So for now, don't worry about it if you can't change the pitch too much, but just know that that is how you change the sound is by lowering the direction and getting it higher. So for now, just try to get that steady sound. And if that's feeling good, then we can move on to putting the top half of the instrument on and learning some notes. Next video, we are going to go over how you put your fingers on the top half of the instrument and how we make the first three notes and play a popular song called Hot Cross Bun. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.